Hello, debutantes, a long time no see. Um, I have been super duper tired. We got back from Disney. Um, the last day of Disney at the Magic Kingdom, I was so exhausted. We actually left early because I was so tired, which was a total bummer. So I've had good days and bad days, and we've done some blood work, and we're trying some different things out with my thyroid. So the jury's still out, we will see. But my husband is working a double shift today and I am so sick and tired of being cooped up in that house and laying down and watching TV that I have just decided I'm gonna tough it out, I'm gonna do some thrift store shopping, just run around and be by myself and see what kind of trouble I can get into. So I thought since we haven't hung out in such a long time, I would take you along with us. So we are on our way out, my gate just opened, so let's go. So I made it to my first thrift store. It's a Restore Habitat for Humanity. And look at this blast from the past right here. Cindy Crawford and Kathy Smith. I think I had those Kathy Smith worked out. And then I found this lovely book called Boobs. So this is what it looks like inside. I don't come to this one very often. It's a lot of furniture, um, not a lot of housewares, but this is where we are. Maybe I can find some cute things for Maureen's housewarming party. Okay, we are on stop two, which is actually a Goodwill. Um, this is not one that I normally go to. It's on Broadway or like US1, just south of Blue Heron for all of the people who are local that watch my channel. Um, I have not had the best luck with Goodwill lately. Our local Goodwill, Gulfstream Goodwill, the one that has, I guess manages all the Goodwills. I don't know. The prices are ridiculous. The last time I went to Goodwill, um, I went to one on Okeechobee. It's a brand new one. And the lady was so rude to me. I wanted to just leave everything right there on the counter and walk out. I don't know what the problem is. They get all this stuff for free. I know they don't donate a whole lot to charity. Um, it goes to the upper management. I've you know done my research. I try to give my stuff to Salvation Army because more of their stuff goes to actually helping people. But I'm gonna go ahead and give this Goodwill a try. I did buy a few things at the Habitat thrift store, so I will um, do a haul if I get fabulous stuff. Um, another thing, because I've been sitting on the couch and watching um, Parenthood on Netflix, um, yeah, I've watched six seasons in, I don't know, a week. Um, my eye is watering like crazy. I have been able to look at Pinterest a whole, whole lot. So I have, um, was looking at makeup tips for older women. So I'm trying some new makeup looks. So please comment down below if you like, you don't like. I'm trying to go for more natural look. Um, no eyeliner underneath the eye. N more nude or natural lipstick. So let me know if this is a keeper look or not a keeper look. <laughs> I hate to be stagnant in my makeup looks even if I am 45 years old. Um, so anyway, off, done with the babbling. Let's go into Goodwill and see if we can find anything. I'm pretty sure I filmed in this Goodwill once before. Um, all the housewares and books are over on that side. They've got lots of furniture today. Um, so just wanted to kind of show you the inside of our Goodwill. Nothing spectacular, but I'm gonna go look at linens and see if I can buy anything fabulous. I don't know if I'm gonna look for clothes today. So I have totally been looking for a pair of these little high-heeled slippers. And these are actually my size, but they're all stretched out. I don't know, these just speak to my 1950s housewife. So at our Goodwills, most things have a like static price, like ladies' sleeveless blouses are $3.99. Um, they have signs all over the stores that give you the prices. And then lately they have been kind of grouping things and like color coordination. So that's helpful, but um, their clothes are still pretty good prices, but some of their housewares and things are just ridiculously expensive. So that's that. When I come to Goodwill, I always look at the pillows. Um, I know some people think it's icky to buy pillows from the Goodwill. I do like to buy dog beds or put things that I can use for a dog bed. Um, but let me just show you a, an example of a pillow that I would purchase. This is a really nice, um, like a heavy linen. It has a zipper, so this can easily be washed. And then what I would do is I would spray the insert with Febreze, um, Lysol, and I would toss it in the dryer to refresh it. Um, I'm not in the market for this pillow, but just an example of what I consider a pretty good buy on a pillow. Now I know this shelf screams 1970s, but you could paint this up. You could put this in your bathroom and put your lotions and potions and whatnot in here. Um, this would also be great in a craft room for your acrylic paints or your hole punches or anything like that. Um, 
This one is $4, which is, I think, a little expensive for this item. But when you go thrifting, don't just look at what it is, look at what it could become. So our next stop is St. Mark's Thrift Shop. I think they're closed on Monday, so when Tony and I go out, I can never get here. This is a much smaller thrift store, but sometimes they have a lot nicer items, so let's go in. All right, well, St. Mark's was kind of a bust. I didn't find anything good, although I did have lovely chats with the women in there. Um, I drive my daughter crazy when I talk to people in public, and it's funny because my mother drives me crazy when she does it, so I don't understand. But I am at Dunkin' Donuts. It is time for a sweet tea. Okay, debutante, so we made it home. I think I went to four different thrifts, five different thrift stores. I went to two Goodwills and a bunch of little smaller thrift stores. I think I did really good today. I didn't get that much, but what I did get, I really, really like. So let me turn this around and show you what I got. So here's everything I picked up today. Um, actually, that basket I got last week when I was at Goodwill. So let me go ahead and show you what we got. I got this Now Eat This um, cookbook from Rocco Dispirito. I actually got this from the library a while ago, and I really liked a lot of the recipes, so this was $2.49. This basket that I got the last time I think was $2.99. Of course, this totally goes with my rustic decor, and this was just in the middle of my dining room table, so I figured I'd show that to you as well. This thing I have actually been looking at for quite a while. I did garage sales and different thrift stores, and it was always too expensive for me to just like kind of try it out. But somebody at Goodwill actually has a brain. I know that wasn't very nice. And this was only $2.99, so I picked that up to give it a try. Then I got this really cute um, cutting board with an alligator on the top. It's small, probably four by seven, I wanna say. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the alligator off. He's just screwed on the top. I am going to sand it down, make this part a chalkboard, put the alligator back on, and probably put it in shop 561. This is my favorite thing I got all day. It is actually a blank book. It is in perfect condition. The price on the back says $14.95. This was actually 49 cents today. And I've really been um, trying to journal and just see what is making me feel bad, what is making me feel good. So this is perfect. Then I picked up these two little utensils. The butter knife I will use as is. Um, it was just cute for 25 cents. And then this cute little server. I'm going to bend this part up so it will be 90 degree angle with the handle and I'm going to screw it to a piece of pallet board and it will become a candle holder or like a candle sconce. Then I picked this up for a buck 60 and it's just a heavy glass serving tray and it just kind of reminded me like a wood grain and I thought it was cute and this was only a dollar 60 and then my second most favorite purchase of the day are these two Disney tumblers. This one is from Epcot and they are from the 25th anniversary of Disney and we actually did go to that when they had the the castle looked like a big birthday cake and then this one is the Magic Kingdom and this is Donald on it. Sorry about the glare. There's Main Street, and when you tip them up and you drink out of them on the bottom, which I know you can't see, it says 25th anniversary, and then it says remember the magic. These were 60 cents a piece. I know they say a dollar, but she only charged me 60 cents. So I got both of those. I'm so excited because I did not buy the mugs and the tumbler at Disney. Um, by the time I was ready to shop, I was too tired, too aggravated. I just wanted to go home. So I'm much happier that I paid what did I say, 60 cents, 80 cents a piece for these, then $15 for the mugs. So I think I spent right around $10 on everything. So this is everything that I got today. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. I just wanna say thank you to all of my subscribers, new and old, that have stuck with me when I'm not really filming that often. Um, I do have a few videos that I'm thinking of doing, so stay tuned and I promise that I will film as much as possible. Um, I am feeling a little bit better, but like I said, I have good days and I have bad days. What are you gonna do? I'm just an old lady is the problem, but <laughs> Anyway, I just want to say thank you. If you have not subscribed, please do, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys.